The International Monetary Fund and the World Bank have concluded their annual meetings in Istanbul, calling for continuous policy support as the world economy is still in a precarious condition. The meetings also emphasize the growing role of developing countries. Yang Yan has the story. Recovery was the main theme of the speeches in this year's annual meetings. In its latest World Economic Outlook, or WEO, the IMF predicted that the global economy would grow by 3.1 percent next year, that's 0.6 percent higher than its prediction in July, and it said the global recession is ending. The IMF added that global financial stability has also improved following unprecedented policy actions and signs of economic recovery. But officials at meetings still urged for a continuous supportive economic policy to secure the recovery. The IMF suggested in its WEO that the key policy priority should remain to restore the health of the financial sector and to maintain supportive macroeconomic policies until the recovery is on a firm footing. Asia is considered to be leading the world economy out of the crisis. This latest WEO projected that Asia will grow 2.8 percent this year and 5.8 percent in 2010. That's far better than other regions. The advanced economies are also expected to walk out of the negative territory and achieve slight growth next year. Despite the bright outlook, World Bank President Robert Zolik said risks still exist, including growing unemployment lines, rising protectionism, and still large output gaps. Zoli called for pressing ahead with the voting reform at World Bank and the IMF. He said a multipolar economy which is less reliant on the U.S. will be a more stable world economy. He told the meeting that the political economy of the 21st century demands a changed order that reflects a growing role of developing countries. He also pointed out that these countries are now a source of potential economic growth that could lead to a more balanced world economy. Now yet, CCTV.